Joe here, here's some of the stranger stories making headlines. A Brooklyn man is under arrest after a recent low-speed chase on a street sweeper. That happened back in January after several motorists called 911 to report a man on a street sweeper driving erratically. When police arrived, the driver refused to stop and the low-speed chase was on. After five grueling minutes of being chased by cops, the driver pulled over where he was charged, surprise, surprise, with DUI. An ambitious new plan is underway to use social media to send people to Mars. The company called Mars One is seeking people via social media to apply for a one-way trip to the planet as early as this year to start a permanent colony. The entire event will be followed online like one big reality show with the first run of contestants already eliminated. Scientists predict the first hate tweet will be sent from the Red Planet within 24 hours, the first Candy Crush request within a day, the first naked selfie within a week, and that humans will have completely screwed that planet up too within the first 10 years. A new study says cats will start to eat their owner one hour after they die. Scientists are also still looking for survivors of said study. Let's take a look outside the weather right now. Well, that does appear to be the sun, so we can indeed confirm that it is sunny. And in a recent letter published by the New York Times and obtained by me, they're promising us substantial savings on subscriptions. In sports, New York won, Dallas lost, Detroit just trying to keep the lights on. And finally, a Seattle Seahawks fan obituary blames the team's bad play at the Super Bowl as the cause of his death. Michael Vedvik of Kent, Washington, died the day after his team lost to the Patriots in the big game, and his family claims the final play sealed the deal to his death. His obituary reads, We blame the Seahawks' lousy play call for Mike's untimely demise. In a related story, many Vegas gamblers blame the Seahawks' lousy play call for demise of funds in their bank accounts and wallets. And that's a look at the stranger news happening. Jersey Joe, I'll see you next time, I hope. Thank